Hi YouTubers, Robert here with another how to fix something. So we've got a Magnifica, Belongi Magnifica machine, coffee machine automatic. E-S-A-M, E-A-M, E-C-A-M, I'm not sure which it is, 3500. And my problem here was... It was coming up with an error message on the screen, which we're not going to see now because I fixed it. Coffee ground too fine, insert water spout, and press OK. Now I just kept mucking around buttons, hoping it was going to come good. Um, which I didn't, I just kept on going and looked online, spoke to a guy at a coffee repair place, and they thought um, it seemed to be something about the solenoids not working correctly. Oop. Take the pen off there. So actually my original problem, turn this around, sorry, was that the water pump crapped itself. So here's the pump, still the original pump, but inside this pump, if you break it down, it's a bit fiddly, but just persist with it. Take off this clip here, pull that clip out there, actually don't leave that one on. Follow that hose through, pull out the other clip. Don't lose a little O-ring in there. You've got a couple of little electrical connections there. You can pull this silicon nose off here. Put that in a cup of water. Aim that out of the machine after you've got the covers off. Actually, just whilst I'm here, talk about the covers. Back cover. You've got half dozen screws. Side covers have no screws, but they just pull out backwards, two sides. Front cover, two screws either side. Then the front cover comes off. Top cover comes off. It's that simple. Okay, so back to the pump. Now, you, once you've got this hose pointed out, aim that out onto the floor somewhere in your shed, somewhere where you don't mind getting water around. This one intake in a cup of water. So if your pump's still going, still vibrating, still making any noise, there's another video by a French or German guy shows you how to replace a ball. I replaced the ball, couldn't get a plastic ball, three and a half millimeter ball bearing. Uh, I put in a three and a half mil stainless bearing, cost me all of a dollar. So I fixed the pump, but I still have a problem with this error now it comes up ground, coffee ground too fine. Could never get rid of it, and also it just kept on feeding. Try and once I got past, pressed OK, cleared the error, made a cup of coffee, but I already always delivered, no matter whether you pressed short, medium, or long coffee, always made a full cup at the same point every time, just ignored pretty much the buttons, and I couldn't reprogram it either. Try and tell the, um, here we go, short, medium, long. You couldn't tell the machine when to stop making water. <clears throat> so after a while it dawned on me, a long while, that this device down here, now that there is just holding this down, I've got this actually stuck back down now. When I pulled it up it came off with a click. Um, and whatever the retaining device was, was lost, so I'm just sticking that down with a bit of silicon. Just waiting for that to skim up, skin up. I think it's done. This is a flow meter. Now the flow meter was broken. Under here, under that cap, pull off that cap, you've got a white three pin plug. Uh, just take careful note of how that comes out. It's very corroded under there for me. And it's actually snapped off a pin. You can see this red wire comes in at a funky angle. It's because I've soldered it directly to the remainder of the pin. And um, we're back in action. Got rid of all the corrosion off the pins. Put some of that on it. Cleaned it up. And it's fixed the problem. So at the end of the day, it was a flow meter. So there was talk about solenoids. Sorry to rattle on so quick. This machine's got two boilers, two solenoids. Here is 
I think the vaporizer, the milk um, steaming solenoid, uh, boiler. Up there is the, the main boiler for the coffee. Here is one solenoid. Um, one screw, there's another screw, you follow this plate around, there's another screw at the back. Two screws come up from underneath to hold that solenoid on, just the two wires come off. Um, so that solenoid can come off easy. And what I have done is replaced, well that's the old one there, so that's a three-way solenoid, this is a two-way solenoid. $50 a piece from the coffee machine repair shop. If I was going to replace that, I couldn't buy a new white plug and had this pin stuck off in it. And I sold it straight to this one, so I didn't need to buy a new flow meter, but that's $15, so fairly cheap. $50 a piece for the solenoids. I found, I pulled both solenoids off. This one, you can actually still blow a bit of air through. So I just tried blowing some air through, that should be normally closed. And the problem with this front one, which I've now since replaced, now he lives up under this corner, right there. Fairly easy to get to once that covers off. This is the milk jug lid. When you press clean, took the finger off the button, it kept on sucking up a little bit of milk. So it'd be steaming, cleaning quite nicely. Hold on for the recommended eight seconds. Release the button, sure enough. Up comes the milk and out the spout. So it wasn't getting cleaned properly. That's because this little valve was stuck open. And what we can do to test is you hold, you can look online, and it's a bit hard to find, you hold short and long on, plug it in, and then you go access into um, a diagnostic mode. And you can operate then, I think it's number one solenoid, number two solenoid, you can operate heat on, is that heat on, pump on, transfer up, transfer down, and operate a pile of these things. Um, you can also, I think, press these two buttons, do I press these two, two buttons and then you can see press check button one, button two, button three, through to ten. And I can't quite remember, maybe I think it's these two buttons. You'll be able to see how many coffees have been made, how many coffees. This one's done about nearly eight thousand cups of coffee, cups of coffee. And you cycle through and or it cycles through. And so it's done nearly eight thousand cups of coffee and 8,000 cappuccinos so has been a, a quite a reliable machine really at the end of the day um, oh when I first got this machine it was given to me so I, I haven't bought this my first issue was this little device here was um, controls the heating up of this block I forget what it's called it might be a thermo it's not a thermocouple it's something else that was $25 from the repair shop um, just notate, you've got quite a few wires, I've got top, bottom, left and right. I think that was lot replaced not long before I got hold of it and I had to do it again. That's right, it's worked since. And there was also a blockage in the line, it took me a while to find this, out of this, into this solenoid. So you can get your problems. Next problem I had, you can tell that I've spent many hours looking at this thing. Uh, wasn't dispensing milk correctly. I replaced, apparently these can be a big cause, this wasn't my cause but I've replaced these three o-rings anyway. Uh, if you're watching this in America, just to go back to the pump, you can buy a plastic ball and a o-ring for a few bucks through eBay but not available in Australia. So these o-rings, o-ring, they can be a bit of a rip-off on the internet, on eBay. I rang the DeLonghi technical help and they sent me them for nothing. Didn't fix the problem with my milk sucking through. In the end, because of the not cleaning issue, because of the dodgy valve, this needed to clean out three screws. I think there's another component there, another couple more screws. Just be, take your time with it. Do it somewhere, where if a spring goes flying away that You'll be able to find it easily. Same with all these things, these little clips. 
that hold these tubes on, don't lose them. Uh, little O-rings can fall out, take your time. Just relax with it. And um, before you go sticking your fingers in there, always unplug the machine. If you're mucking around with the water, if you're mucking around with the pump and electricity, so you've got to be super careful. And there you go, that's my quick Magnifica 3500 run through of the problems and the fix. Ciao.